Hey there guys, welcome back to the Let's Play on Hard Mode of Bulletstorm and Codename Gaming. Um, I'm actually going to be narrating over this bit because my microphone decided it would be a... Uh, it would decide to take a break, in fact. Uh, either that or Elgato decided that it forgot the microphone was even there. So, in this, basically, I'm just going to use it as an opportunity to um, explain what's going on, what we're doing, and things like that, basically. So, if you haven't already gathered, um, Codename Gaming is uh, it's a gaming channel by me and my friend Dave. As you can, you might have already seen, he's uploading videos of Planet Side Two at the moment. There, obviously, there are going to be more things. He's more PC orientated than me, whereas I'm obviously on more console. But we have a few ideas uh, down the line, which we think uh, could be appealing. The, um, the only reason why I'm actually narrating over this bit in particular because um, uh, I found this part of the section of the game. I love Bulletstorm as a game and it really upsets me the fact that it is in fact selling, uh, it didn't sell very well. Um, on top of that, they're not making a Bulletstorm 2. Uh, that was obviously announced back in April of last year. Uh, it's crazy how you can figure it about little gems like this, and I would seriously, 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 if you haven't played this game and you're only playing it now, go, go down to your local game store or whatever, second-hand shop, anything, or even if you see it like in a car boot sale, just pick it up because it's only like three or four quid now. I don't know how much that is in dollars, um, but you know, it's only so much. Oh, I like this. This kind of literally died from getting stuck there. Um, it's only so much now. It is a tiny, tiny amount, and you get so much from this game. My main complaint is obviously that the game is probably what eight hours long if you play it through a normal. Let, what eight hours? Less than that. Sorry, it's around about six hours, and that was, you know, because you got every weapon. You become overwhelmed with points in the end. You can't spend it all fast enough, and you gotten the weapons that you like and etc etc um, whereas obviously very hard mode is kicking my ass uh, you, we haven't reached it yet but it is definitely kicking my ass at the moment uh, obviously I'll try to cut down the load times as well when I do die it's obviously very boring to wait for me to come back and so don't worry I will cut that down but my um, main complaint with this uh, this part of the game is that this actual section right now is fine. It's the bit later on where you get the uh, oh, spoiler alert. By the way, uh, if, in case you haven't noticed, we, I don't really care about spoilers at all in the slightest. If you guys want to spoil, if you guys want the spoiler-free uh, channel, then you come to the wrong channel because we're doing everything on hard mode, right? So you know, we've, we've played through it at least once, just on normal. You get the spoiler aspect, and now. We're on the hardest difficulty to trust just for the challenge, so. Ooh, that's right. yeah. um, so, you know, that in mind, if you're worried about spoilers, I would have stopped long ago. If you're not, then, you know, or if you're not that fussed about spoilers, and obviously uh, you know full well that I'm gonna be ruining certain bits for you. Try, I'll try not to go out of my way to do so, but if it's part of our conversation, obviously I'm gonna make it so. So, and giant. So that there, you know. Obviously I'm doing this with a cup of tea in hand. <laughs> so, this entire uh, section here from, I think, not this point, but it, it's literally when you get the remote. Um, it just becomes a drag because I think this entire section took me what ten minutes on its own um, just to get through because it was like I'm, I'm pressing the button and I want things to do things but it's not doing it because it's looking at me. Why are you looking at me? I want you to look over there and fire your lasers. Go the other way, please. Thanks. And it's just it's annoying and frustrating and it slows down the pace of the game like dramatically. The rest and the entirety of, in case you haven't already gathered, well, I missed an opportunity at this point. I, I saw all of them and I was thinking, hang on, thinking to myself, there was five of them there, I could have wasted all in one shot. Maybe not with a shotgun, but maybe with a pistol rocket. Um, anyway, what was I going? Uh, there was five of them. 
No, sorry, I'm just about to repeat myself. Oh yeah, I'm knocked off three quarters now, so that's why. <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, and basically this this is the only section where it's slowed right down, uh, especially on hard mode it seems. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have experienced the same problem. <coughs> Excuse me, seriously, I've got a problem going on. Can't drink my own tea. It's gone down the wrong Um, yeah, no, so this this bit here just slows right down. I'm just going to move on from that bit. Um, mainly because it's just... You, you'll see. You'll see in a minute. We've got 20 minutes of gameplay. I'm tempted to just try to skip through it. Not 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, because it is literally the most boring part of the game, which is a real shame. Everything else, though, always ramped up 100 miles an hour all the way through. And, uh, as I was saying before, if you haven't played this game, I would recommend playing it on normal. It wants you, you know, the, the game begs you to be sprinting through, not really. It's got all these lush environments, but it doesn't want you to look at them. It's just it's like, fuck, man, you've got more shit to kill, more planes, more vehicles. Fucking an enormous dinosaur, you know, you've got to keep going, don't fucking stop, what are you playing at? This shit is just uh, the background for people who are, who are watching you play, and the likelihood is you've already made them play something else, so this, yeah. So the cheap, amazing bargain. Obviously story-wise it's not exactly the most in-depth thing, I mean you're not going to get The Last of Us out of story or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it's it's enough there. My best description is, think of it like a uh, 80s, 90s action superhero film, uh, not superhero film, but like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, um, <clears throat> uh, if you want to throw in Chuck Norris in there, you can, Bruce, Willis, you know, those kind of people, crazy. It's just explosions, ramped up and stuff, it's, it's all, all good. Um, I keep thinking the voice actor is Steve Blum, but I, I don't know who it is, but the main guy who plays Grayson, I think it's Steve Blum. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but it, it might possibly be him. And maybe I'm just thinking of a name and that's what's sticking, so, um, yeah. Now, as you can see, this is what I mean, like, you know, it's just, you're lasering, you're trying to target, and you, I, I think there's a section later on where I'm spending about five minutes just to try and gun down two um, banshees, I think they're called, uh, or gyrocopters, that's one. Um, and it's just like, why am I not shooting? But I'm doing it for so far away, and I end up maneuvering myself into one of these houses and managing to do it that way, and I'm thinking, oh, thank fuck, that's over. And then carrying on, and just realizing, oh, there's a tiny bit more to press on. <laughs> so, um, I never actually got to try out the multiplayer on this, and I don't think it's alive anymore. I think it long died with the game's uh, um, fast degrading reputation. Um, a lot of people don't like the humor in this, but it's, it's just it's slapstick, you know? It, well, I don't know if that's the right word to use for this kind of thing, but it's just bravado, male bravado, just going, oh, yeah, dick, fucking explosion, and drop humping each other, bro fisting, and robot. <laughs> The angry Japanese robot. And also enormous dinosaur-like creatures, which they have replicated into an enormous theme park. So, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, the idea... Yeah, so me and uh, my friend Dave, obviously, we've created this channel. We've been playing games... Well, I know I've been playing uh, games since, what, 1993, so, you know, I was... Uh, 1993. I was three. No, no, not 93. 92. No, no, no. I was three years old when I got Sonic the Hedgehog, and I was born in 1989. So obviously, I'm going to assume it's 1992. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty sure. I think it was three. It might be four. Either case, yeah. You know, I've been playing since then. Uh, Dave as well, my friend. Uh, the other. Hi, uploading videos. Uh, he's also been. Um, playing as well. He's been playing games since, uh, since forever. Um, 